sentence and clause. A sentence is a set of words that is complete in itself and generally contains a subject and a main verb. A sentence also contains the correct punctuation. A clause is a group of words that contains a subject and a verb. Independent clause is a type of clause that makes sense on its own as a sentence. Subordinate clause doesn't make sense on its own as a sentence and is often referred to as dependent clause. Relative clause provides extra information about a noun. It is a type of dependent clause. Simple sentence. Simple sentences contain one independent clause. It contains a subject and a verb. For example, she brushes her teeth in the morning. The baby laughed. Compound sentence. Compound sentences contain two independent clauses and are linked by a coordinating conjunction. Coordinating conjunctions can include for, and, nor, but, or, yet, and so. For example, she brushes her teeth in the morning so her teeth are nice and clean. Here we can see the sentence without the coordinating conjunction. We have two independent clauses that each make sense on their own as separate sentences. Another example is, the baby laughed at the cartoon and he played with his toys. It's important to note that we use commas before the coordinating conjunction. Complex sentence. Complex sentences contain one independent clause and one or more subordinate clause. Subordinate clauses are linked by either a subordinating conjunction, for example, although, after, because, since, when, etc., or a relative pronoun, for example, who, which, that, and many more. Examples of complex sentences include She brushes her teeth in the morning after waking up. As you can see, we have our independent clause, which can make sense on its own as a separate sentence, and then the dependent clause, which is after waking up. This wouldn't make sense on its own as a sentence. The baby laughed because the cartoon was funny. I can't wait to meet everyone at the reunion dinner, which is tomorrow. The last example shows you a relative clause with a relative pronoun, which. It is important to note that we use commas when the dependent clause comes first, but if the sentence begins with the independent clause, followed by the dependent, then we don't use a comma. Compound complex sentence. Compound complex sentences contain two or more independent clauses and one or more dependent clause that is linked with a coordinating conjunction. For example, I woke up in the morning and I brushed my teeth even though everyone else was sleeping. Here we can see the independent clauses and the dependent clause.